Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 50 in chapter 16. Chapter 16 is about sound wave. So in this one, we have a stable clock, right? And then this is an oscillator. From this side, move to this side. And then this standing sound wave travels the synclass of this quartz disk. Now, we can see what is given. The given is the given quantity is tell us the density for this uh, quartz and also the G and the modulus, Young's modulus, right? And then the next one, we need to determine the synclass for this uh, disk if this uh, frequency is given at zero. So the frequency is given. So how can we do that? We look at the picture offered by the test book First one, we need to determine the first harmonic frequency. So the F1, F3, F5, it looks like we look at this one. This is the first harmonic, uh, harmonic frequency, right? So look at this uh, wavelength. You can see this is just a half of the wavelength. Do you agree? Half of the wavelength. Because for one complete sine wave, it should move this way, right? And inside this uh, disk, it's just a half. So we find D is half of the lambda, half of the wavelength. The next step, we need to find the wavelength. As we know, wavelength is V times F, agree? V is the wave speed, and F is the frequency. At zero, frequency is given at zero, so we need to find the V. The wave speed is determined by this function. We learned in previous chapter, squared T divided by rho. So therefore, we can input the v in this lambda function and input lambda in this d function. We finally, we can write the function for d and input all the known quantities, get the answer there. Thank you.